going on everybody? Sports Wolf 3 here bringing you another cool NECA action figure review. This is Vector from the Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Very nice looking packaging. I really like it. There's the back. Some nice artwork. I love it. There's the quick bio. I'll scroll through that really slow. If you want to take the time to read that, feel free. And he's a member of the Wolf Pack. Very nice. I love it. So let's get this thing out of his plastic tomb and have a close look. Here is Vector out of his plastic tomb. And I gotta tell you, this thing looks amazing. I just love the way this guy looks. He just reeks of awesomeness. Comes with three accessories. He comes with a blade here. Let's a little knife. We'll get that out. I'll have a close look at that. It's just a standard knife. You've seen it before. It's got a little bit of a uh, faint hint of blood on there. It is very sharp and pointy. Uh, for a toy so be mindful of that so we have that and then he comes with this uh, I don't know sniper slash assault rifle type AK-47 looking thing very cool if you know exactly what this is called leave a comment below I'd really appreciate that it has a nice metallic finish I like the way this is sculpted and looks they did a very good job making this particular gun it works well and it probably looked nice with some of the other uh, NECA figures and whatnot. And then here on the chest, he has a handgun which is fitted right in here in this little holster. We'll kind of get that out. So there's this little guy right here. Very well done. I like the detail on this as well. They did a good job with it. Very nice. And of course, his right hand is fitted to hold these guns just like so. So you can get it on there and it will hold it very good. I like it. So we got that. Let's actually put this back in his chest. And it's not that hard to get it back in either. Though it is rubber, so it is easily uh, stretched to get this thing back on. I like that. And there you go. So there. There is no storage that I've seen. And I did examine this figure. There is no storage for the knife. So basically you'll have to hold it so you don't lose it. Uh, his hood felt like it wanted to come off. I toyed with it for a minute. And I discovered after peeling this all back off his head, I mean, you can see the ears and stuff on his head, but it is pegged in on the back here, fitted, so it doesn't come off unless you break it. So, unless you like that, you can kind of get that off of there, and then you can display him with or without the hood. I kind of like him with the hood. That That's uh, definitely something that gives him uh, a, a really cool look, so I'm going to leave it. Um, he does have articulation. Uh, ball joint on his head does spin all the way around. He does have a spin at the shoulder and he does have a joint up in there where you can move his arms up and down. That's about as far as he goes right there. And at the elbow, he does have a spin. It's like so. And up and down. However, it is slightly hindered. He has uh, armor right here. And he's got a couple of straps right here in the elbow crease itself. So it does hinder that a little bit. But that's okay. Don't mind it that much. And then he does have a ball joint at the wrist so his hands do spin around to move up and down he has a little bit of an ab crunch here as you can see so you can lean him forward and back a little bit and he spins all the way around at the waist just like so and then at the hip he does have a ball joint up under there these are rubber right here so you don't have to worry about doing anything with those he can move up and down and all around very cool I like that some dynamic posing going on there and he does have the double knee joint, which isn't really hindered so much by the knee pads here. Because they got the straps that go to the back here. Not really hindered at all because of the extra joint there. So very nice. I like that. And there is a spin here at the shin and an up and down at the tip of the toe. A little bit of articulation there, which is a nice added touch. So good job there. And it is ratcheted on his ankles, so he can hold somewhat of a pose. Sadly, he does have standing issues that I discovered. Uh, because of the way his hip joints are, you can't really spread out his legs all that much. So, when you stand him, he, you kind of have to get him to stand just right. So, hopefully NECA will start putting some stands with their figures, certain figures, especially figures like this. He is a little bit top heavy. A lot of junk going on up here. So there's the back real quick. Nice paint apps. Very well done. I like that. This isn't removable. Everything's basically glued on for the most part. You can't really do much with anything as far as taking and pulling things off. 
but he is very well made and a very solid figure to say the least. So good job NECA, you know, another winner here. So there we go. So there you go everybody. This has been Vector from the Resident Evil line made by NECA. Uh, Operation Raccoon City. Now because of his standing issues I am choosing to put him in this kneeling position and he looks great this way anyway. So hopefully maybe down the road Neck will start including some stands with these particular type figures especially the ones that are a little top heavy. Uh, but either way it's, it's a well done well sculpted figure. Great paint apps. Well articulated. Just He's got three extra accessories which is always a plus and uh, you can't go wrong with this figure. So again thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take it easy.